Let's go. Faster. Vale, ya se ve. Bueno, vamos a hacer hoy un poco de misión principal. Esta nada. No está mal del bosque. Went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're like a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. You could still come back. What are you doing out here alone? Well, he's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. 
Seen him in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed? Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please? A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! Come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Vamos a buscar a los renacuajos. <coughs> Found you. You can stop hiding. See you.
found you. You can stop hiding. Found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Come to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? She's busy. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said, he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Johnny?
Don't be afraid. You're a Bucca? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? I can say it. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Qué guapos son los quijeños. Mira que majo es Johnny, mira cómo corre. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Infancy. Con una cara sombría.
this bottle. By the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigan is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. <laughs> down my glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice. So I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. No, oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Johnny arranca. Ahí. se calla ah, es... he hecho todo el rato la misma frase no a crown in sight i need to sing to gran that ought to calm her little johnny softly gaze fire waning pale pop a spark jumped out and whispered Listen, I'm a tale. You, you got your voice back. I did. 
Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. <laughs> ladies, lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? You fear woodland beasts. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger.
Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Mm -hmm. Mara quiere más. Vale, vamos a Madrid ahora baja. Ya hablamos con el tío este. Greetings. Nice village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? I winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, Master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. The Grand Mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light.
be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. that protect me. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. The powers will not kill the end. Show yourself. I want to talk. Vale, yo como sé las dos opciones que hay y cómo acaban, vamos a matar a este tío. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you're evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dead army, and against you will rise all the powers of nature.
him. Y bueno, pues está bien. of power should draw from it. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Cosita, eh. Han reflux las tías. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. 
She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone's supposed to be we let beast and players saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the soul seeds that were burst into flame.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, <laughs> this new handsome knight. Vamos a decirle al varón que su mujer está aquí. So long. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Pam Grand. Pam Pam Grand. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. 
Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind, but the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement, if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Como decís en un al otro. Pero literalmente. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? 
What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return? I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the forces. You'll survive. <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth. <laughs> <laughs> You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it.
certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as a huddled shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster. But my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him, and Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her.
Vale. Se habían dado un puntito. Vamos a mejorar esto. Vale, vamos a hacer la misión del varón. ¿Qué misión es esta? Nueve. Vamos a hacer la del balón y ya lo dejamos finiquitado esto. Why the devil are there witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blobtits, did they? I, I, I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt, good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's bawling. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Lass rode with them, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. With the swamp to cross and those cursed crowns to hunt down. Plowing swamp. Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns. Fuck me. What will these hay seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat at peasant mines. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, man. Always.
Where's a horror like that come from? A wench does have too much hooch turns into that. The next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better off putting it down yourself. did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the Eternal Fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her. Your father. He wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Baked and hot. Mother. Uh, uh, clean as a whistle. Fresh as a daisy. Go on. Whip me. I made it too little. I nibbled it, but just to see if it's firm. But it's fresh. So take pity. Oh, Mother. Take pity. I played it. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? Me da que no. What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. 
Uh, what was that? Wolves? Perhaps. Didn't sound like <laughs> it. Because it wasn't. Get ready. A fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough! I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick, weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood bye. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell, it must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. No, it's my teeth. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I know a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenford. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him! You know what he did to her! He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties. To the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. 
I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. You were right. I'm not so sure. We could do anything more. Nor could the Witcher if she can scrap before I lose my patience. Maybe. Perhaps maybe more. not. Maybe go for it. Y ya creo que lo podemos dejar por aquí. Vale, principales es Kelly y las pilas. Pero antes haremos misiones secundarias. Esta estaría bien hacerla. No voy a hacer todas las misiones en directo o grabado. Pero la más interesante sí. Este, por ejemplo, me acuerdo. A lo mejor tampoco es tan interesante como para grabarlo. Bueno, que eso. Lo dejamos aquí. Ya nos vemos el próximo directo y para los que los veis por YouTube, eh, hasta el próximo.